And with me right now is Don Tibbetts. He is, of course, on the United Board. Welcome back. Always good to see you. My pleasure, Ken. Thank you. And you are welcome. Now, we've got uh, three or four things to talk about today. And the first one is the fencing, the shepherd's crooks, right? <clears throat> yes, we discussed this a little bit. And since our first discussion, uh, uh, it went to the <coughs> MNC committee. And right now, we are trying to decide where to start. At uh, one time, we were going to, we were talking about, uh, oh, the Valencia uh, area, but now other members want other areas, so we have decided to get security involved and find out where most of the illegal entries are, are occurring, and most of them are in the Gate 1 and Gate 5 area. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're waiting for security to give us a recommendation, and then we'll probably go from there. Okay, and of course, uh, Third is doing their own program over yes. on, I think, off the Ridge Route, at yes, least at, they uh, are. for the time being. And you folks did it a while back, which was behind what was the former Vaughn store. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And now we uh, <clears throat> have looked at all of the fencing. <clears throat> We're going to do all of it, but uh, we can only afford about 900 feet a year. Yeah. And the gate five and one have low walls and a lot of uh, cut barbed wire, mm -hmm. and we've had a lot of entries in those areas, so that's probably where we'll start. Okay, very good. Now, something we've talked about over the years, many, many times, yeah, and that's, that's the toilet replacements. Yeah, that started in uh, 2014, <clears throat> and the, uh, it's been a great program. It's reduced our water consumption quite a bit, and as of uh, last week, we have replaced 4,337 toilets to the uh, low flow toilets. And we are going to continue that. Uh, we aren't sure how many are left because many of the new residents put in their own. Mm -hmm. We could always find out the exact number, but uh, there really isn't a need right now. So we'll just continue replacing as we go along and uh, it should be finished within, within a year, hopefully. All right, very good. Yeah, I remember when that started. Oh, yes, yes. It's been, yeah. been a while. Big project. Yes. Now, uh, a couple things, uh, last couple things you want to talk about that kind of go together. The pipe leak remediation and then the epoxy waistline. Yeah, that we have, uh, <coughs> we've been going down, we keep track of, we've been going down in the water leaks every year for the past few years, except this past quarter we jumped way up. And so oh, we're going to take a second look at it. Uh, we've been, been uh, going along well on this, and staff has been doing an excellent job, but we have to decide now whether to increase the program or uh, keep on at the same rate we're going now. Besides the water leak, it creates a lot of damage, and that's oh, expensive of course, yeah. on the flooring and the walls. <clears throat> and if we increase the, uh, the um, rate that we want to fix these leaks, we may have to consider dropping other programs. So that's where the problem is right now. Okay. The board will make a final decision. Uh, it's been suggested that we drop the, uh, oh, the uh, <clears throat> exterior uh, sewer line, in, or exterior epoxy, Program. Okay, and that's of course from the main line out. Main basically. line out. Yeah. And we just signed a new contract <clears throat> with those people. It's uh, specialized pipe technology. They're excellent. They can put, uh, they can line pipes as, as small as one inch in diameter. Wow. And, and we might reduce that or might. Uh, uh, Keep it at the same pace, depending what the board wants to do. Okay. If we kept that program as is, along with uh, increasing the becoming more proactive on the water leaks, then we would, we would have to consider uh, raising assessments. And that's always a bad thing for residents. Yeah. But uh, we're going to talk about it with our budget uh, uh, coming up. In fact, the MSC has their first, first budget meeting in about two weeks. And all the residents are invited to sit in 
and uh, we'll, we'll try to answer those questions and make recommendation to the board of which way to go. And uh, uh, staff does an excellent job in giving us detailed input of what we need, and we take that input along with uh, what the um, residents are asking, and we make a final uh, determination early, uh, uh, probably by September, the final cutoff date. Okay. And that's about it. All right, very good. I appreciate you coming on. Anything else you'd like to add or? No, that's about all, Ken. I appreciate the time. All right, always good to see you. My pleasure. And we'll let you know when the next United MNC meeting is. Obviously, uh, we're starting in a budget meeting, so a lot of these are pre-budget kind of meetings, right, where you're just getting started. We're just getting started, <coughs> yes. Yeah. We're gathering the information, and we'll get into a lot of detail in two weeks, and then probably have another meeting over there to make recommendations to the board. All right, very good. Good to see you, Don, as My always. Pleasure. You take My care, pleasure. and we'll be uh, right back. <laughs>